the difference between a good oyster and a, and a bad oyster is obvious because it's either it's either full or it's clear. There are a number of problems facing the oyster industry in uh, New South Wales and in Australia as a whole and one of those is uh, poor water quality. I'm Associate Professor Shauna Murray from the Climate Change Cluster at UTS. It's not uncommon that after rainfall there may be uh, pathogenic bacteria that, that are washed into an estuary and then these can be taken up by oysters. The New South Wales Food Authority is the regulator that manages the New South Wales shellfish industry and their role is to ensure that uh, oysters are safe to harvest and eat and to protect consumers and they do this by closing harvesting according to various rules in the various different estuaries so the farmers then have to wait until the, the water's clean again and then they're able to harvest. And closures are obviously quite expensive for oyster farmers because they're unable to work on those days. What oyster farmers would really like is to be able to detect these things quickly and know when they're present so that then they can plan out their work and they know exactly when the toxins have gone away and exactly when the oysters are clean again. If we can reduce the amount of time that oyster farms are closed for harvesting, then both the oyster farmers and the regulators will benefit from that reduction. Sydney rock oyster. It lasts longer out of water. It's more tolerant to the temperatures. Well, grows here naturally. Right here, these are probably the best oysters that you're going to get, aren't they? Boy, these are going to be fat. They are going to be as fat as. I might take a few of these. Next. We've got a thing down here called the gear. On our, on our lease here. We've got a couple of trays there and we collect that for both fisheries and Arjun. Once a month for fisheries, once a week for Arjun. Hi, my name is Arjun Verma and I'm a researcher at University of Technology Sydney working for Shauna Murray on the Oyster Transformation Project. So the idea of the project is to reduce closure days for the oyster industry and in order to do so we are conducting a citizen science demonstrational project to get the oyster farmers to collect samples for us. So here we go. ASP. ASP is a ripper. This is the one that, that causes memory loss. We, we test the water here every two weeks and the oysters once a month. It's all about your harvest, your harvest period, when you can and when you can't harvest. business? Well we're still going to be here whether it's done or not but it certainly makes life better. 